This watercolor shows my imagined future of a world without borders. I decided to depict the temperate rainforest of, fr that I'm from in Washington State and British Columbia, and this painting takes place at what was once the nation-state border between Canada and the United States, but all that remains of that sort of militarized, impermeable border is just a rusted out fence that a tree has fully consumed. And in the second part of this art, I tried to title this piece, but I couldn't come up with just one title. I was trying to show that while the tree is the central figure that meets the eye, I don't want to think of this painting as a portrait of a tree, as a bounded individual that's highlighted. I think of it as a portrait of a river because all the water that drips through the leaves and the moss is part of the river. What happens to that water happens to the river. I think of it as the portrait of a virus, because where do viruses like SARS-CoV-2 come from? Well, they often come from forests, from wild spaces, and if those aren't disturbed by things like borders, then the viruses can continue to live in that habitat, and we don't end up with a pandemic, but we still have that diversity of organisms, including viruses, in place. I thought it might be the portrait of a capital, because in this imagined future, political decisions don't just take place within privileged walls but the voices of many more stakeholders are, are powerful, including the land and the water and many, many forms of human and non-human life.